Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. We are going to continue with just feeding our animals for a minute and tidying everything up around the yard. And then once we've done that, we can fast forward time and get to tomorrow. So I was looking at a bigger combine and we were talking about possibly having the Russell Mash. I have got another one. And this particular combine is one that I'm going to be using in the time-lapse series. I've already looked at it, but I thought, well, we could use it in here as well. Um, I'm not sure what the links are. Whether if Someone uh, sent me this one, which was... Uh, they, they've done it themselves. Don't know if I've actually got a link to release it to you. If I have, it will turn up on the Discord. If not, then it's a private edit that can't be uh, shared out. So that's just how it will be. We've got the Titan 2 right there, or we've got the Turbo. So there's the two different ones that we've got. I'm going to use the, the Turbo right there if we do it. This one's only $34,000. All right, this this seems a lot better. We've got the, the double wheels on it there. I think we would go with the double wheels because of the steep ground if we're going to turn our other field into something. So we've got 34000 to spend out on that one. And then there's some headers that we can have with it as well. We've got the headers in here. I've got a selection of them at different sizes, starting at 6, 6.6, 7.6, 9.1, and 10.6 meters. I would actually think the 9 meter one would be probably the most suitable one. And then we've also got in here for the corn headers, we've got something similar. We've got a selection of corn headers available. Uh, there's a 9 meter one there. There's... Wait, what's the difference? I don't know what the difference is between these. That one just looks shinier, I guess, the 2019, 2012. It's an older type, I suppose. That one folds up. That's a, that one's 52,000. It's 9 meters wide. And then you've got these two over here. That one's... Is there a difference in the speed? 13. There's no difference in the speed. See, in order to make these things worthwhile in the game, that one folds up. But if you have a look at the actual money, there's 40 grand difference between those. And I'd have thought that in order to be able to sort of make a difference in game with, um, you know, why is it worth the extra 40 grand? Just because it looks shinier, it may perform better in real life. But in game, there is zero difference between the two. I mean, you look at that one right there. Right, you look at that, that's the 2012 one, that's costing us 50 grand. That one there, what's the difference? There isn't any. That There is no reason to buy that one over the other one when this one here is so much cheaper. Right, it's 40,000, we've got chopping knives on here. So it's Stalkmaster, I don't know if that makes any difference. Doesn't it, like, There doesn't seem to be any difference on any of this. Right, you, you've got various options on here that can possibly cost, you know, make some differences. But I don't really see what this is doing. It's not changing the speed that's available on there. Attacher type stand support. No. Yeah, there's options, but it's not changing the speed or anything. And I would have thought that in order to make it worthwhile for gameplay purposes change it you know give you an extra kilometer an hour or two kilometers an hour so that it is actually worth that upgrade because really for the game the only thing you look at is the width of the cut because if the, if the speed is the same everything else is just kind of like null and void but anyway um we've got those right there the corn header is 50 grand the other header i think was 30 grand and we've got these options that we could go and use and look at which i think would be pretty cool now i've got pig food right there if i go and have a look in pig food right there we're not going to worry about the potato sugar beet. We will worry about the rest of it. So we tip this out like that. And that puts us on 46 litres have gone into potatoes and sugar beet. The others, they get a little bit as well. Like when you put pig food in, it does it shares out between all of the different options that need it. So you do get a little tiny bit going for the pig food. 
Um, it doesn't make a big difference to anything. Not really. It doesn't make a huge difference. Um, you know, I need to come back over this way. So we're running... We've used a load of straw up. Um, although, well, we've got a lot less straw now because we've got a load more pigs in the, in, in the pen. Um, that's going to make a bit of a difference to it all. i tip out that little bit of wheat right there. Um, prices for eggs. I'm still keeping an eye on it. They're still staying at 2197. I mean, not that we've got that many at the moment. So it's, it's not really much of a concern for us. Uh, the only other thing that I really want to do at the moment is straw and putting in some other uh, grain in for the pigs. Like, I'd like to fill the pigs right up with grain as well. Let's just bring that one over there. And then I'll go over here and load on the bale spike. Like this. Uh, grab that one. So I want to take this over to the straw. Actually, you know what? I probably... Just leave the trailer... No, I won't leave the trailer where it is. How much have we got in for the cattle? Check that. Straw for the cattle is absolutely fine today. I think that will be fine. So if I was to go and get three bales from over here, and we put that in, and then that can be put in for the pigs, we get a little bit of money from there. Um, I did decide already that I'm not going to do anything with the manure that we're getting from the cattle. I said that I wasn't going to be spreading that on the fields. However, we could seriously consider selling the stuff. All right, we're able to go and sell it. It's only $39 per thousand liters, but it's still an option that we could take it and we could sell it. At the sell point, we've got a fair bit there that's starting to accumulate. It's just that we'd have to get a way of loading it up. I think really the best way to load the stuff up would be to get a, a conveyor belt. If we had a couple of conveyor belts, bring those back and use that to convey it into a trailer and then we could go and sell it. So we could possibly do that with the manure rather than, you know, because uh, or we could just completely ignore it. I did say originally that I would completely ignore it. I wasn't planning to do anything at all with the manure in the game. Um, and we'll worry about actually using it in our next series. But I don't know. Maybe you guys would like me to. So get in the comment section this week and tell me if you want me to do anything with it. Um, I'm not going to spread it on fields. That's not something that we're doing in this series. But I will take it and load it into a trailer one way or another and then sell it if that's what you'd like me to do. At the moment, we've only got a small bucket on our tractor. So, you know, if we were going to do it like that, it's really going to take quite a while to load up. But... It's still something that we could try. We could still go and do it. Let's go and run this one round and we will dump in a bale's worth into the pigs. Probably be a little bit more than that. Actually, I'm going to leave the straw for a second. I'm going to park that one right there. We've also got a little bit of manure turning up for the pigs. What have we got, actually, in a way for the cow? So at 39 per thousand litres right there. Uh, if we go and have a look in the cows, I've got 208. Oh, actually, so we've got the slurry as well. 289,000 litres of slurry and 214,000 litres of manure. There's a bit of money tied up in that. Well, we've actually got a bit of money tied up in there that we could use. You know, something tells me that we shouldn't just dismiss all of this extra cash that we've got lying around. And we could make use of this. Now, spreading it on the field, no, I didn't want to go down that route just because it's... Uh, time consuming and a little bit tedious and I didn't really want to bother with it at the moment but that being said you know there's there's certainly going to be benefits to selling the stuff at least is that there's a nice bit of money there quarter of a million this well 200 times 40 is essentially what we're looking at a hundred times 4 is 400, so 100 times 40 is 4,000, so 8,000. Um, seriously? We're looking at about $8,000 to, to sell the manure that we've got. We get about 8 grand. <laughs> that would be it. 
Okay, so there really isn't very much tied up in it at all. There, there, there is there is practically nothing tied up in it whatsoever. Let's get 3,000 litres of barley in here a second and we will empty this out. What am I growing at the moment? Oh, I'm growing barley. Well, I suppose we could just leave this here rather than running it all the way over to the other side. We're growing barley. We'll add that in in a bit. Um... I'll just go and stick the, the wheat that we've got in there for a minute. And then that will top the pigs up. I've got enough food in for the chickens at the moment just to keep them happy. I'm not going to be able to fill the pigs up completely with the bit that we've got in here. But at least it will be enough to tide them over for a little while. 10,000 in there. Because you've got to remember we get 10 days worth of food in here. And although it says 10 days, it's 10 days worth of that one. These down here, they use it at a much slower rate than they do with the corn. And the potato sugar beet, that's used up at a really slow rate. So by going and dumping this in, you know what? We can actually start fast forwarding time now. We'll go to 120 times speed. We'll rush along as fast as we can. And that way we're getting more pigs turning up in the pig pen as rapidly as we can get them. And we're also allowing more space for food to go in here. Not that we really need to worry about that. That's going to be all of that going in here. Look, see, 92 pigs. We're already getting more in here. There's a little bit of wheat gone in, 51,000. 54,000 litres of wheat in there. And it once we've filled it up, once it's full, it does eat down a fair bit slower than the other crops, which is great. That I do like. All right, once I've got the pens full, so yes, it's going to take a gargantuan effort on our part in order to fill the pens all the way up, but once we get there, then things is looking a little bit rosier. So let's go to you, and next I want to go through and load up these soybeans in here. So that's going to be all of the soybeans, and we'll put all of those in. So we're going to need a protein crop. At the moment, I've got enough corn. But I'm going to do corn next. Corn is our next crop that we're going to do after this one, I think. Although I'm wondering if it should be. I'm, I'm actually starting to think that maybe we could do a protein crop. We do this one. We do a protein crop next. And then we do corn. And corn would go across all of the fields. Although we could do the protein crop across all of the fields. Uh, ooh, I'm torn now. Really, I really don't quite know how I want to go about You know, it doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll deal with this um, in, in a little while, but we'll see. Uh, they're doing fine. And in go the soybeans, canola, sunflowers issue that we've got right here. That's going to fill that up very nicely in there. So we've got 60,000, 70,000 litres in there. And there goes the last of it. 73,500 litres in there. Um... I'll now go and get corn. We're going to need to put quite a bit of corn in there to properly fill it up. That's fine. That's going to be two trailer loads that we're going to need to put in for the corn. And yeah, I'm thinking we want some. We need some sort of overloader. Something to easily go into the manure and then we can stick it into the trailer and we can transport it back round. And we can just sort of sell that off. I mean, it'd be good to keep an eye on the prices and see what happens with it. So there's the corn loading into there. Um, 39.61 in there. Nothing else seems to be changing very much. Uh, eggs are now coming up. So yeah, I was right not to sell them at the time. We could go and sell them now and then that would get us a little bit more money. Um, we are actually able to just take that combine and the headers, get them back to the dealership, sell them immediately, and we would be able to buy the replacement combine because of how much cheaper it is. It is an old run-down combine, so it's quite cheap. Um, although I'm not quite sure if you'd all be happy with me doing that, because it, it sort of feels a little bit cheaty having it that cheap. I mean, yeah, the headers are quite expensive, to be able to get the two headers running, that is a little bit more expensive. But at the same time, it does still, still, still feel a little bit cheaty. So I'm doing this next harvest with the combine that we've got so that I can get your reaction. 
Um, in the comment section today, I want you to talk about, in particular, do we sell slurry and manure? I won't be doing any of that this week, but would you like me to? Would you like me to start selling those two? We've got stuff here that we can sell. I've no plans to be putting it on the fields, not in this series. We're not using it. Um, but I could start selling it to make a little bit of extra money from our animals. That could be an, another little bit that we can get from them. Uh, would you like me to do that? Is that something you want to start seeing? The other thing that we also want to look at is the combines. Do you want me to buy that new combine that I was looking at? Um, that John Deere one right there. That's 34,000 for that one. It's got a 9,200 litre tank. Uh... There, there, 9,200 litre capacity tank on it. It's only 34,000 for the combine. Or do I go for the Russell Mash over here, which would actually, you know, this is quite an upgrade. It's 10,500. We've got some bigger headers that we can go and get for it, but it's also quite expensive. We actually have to fork out a bit of money to be able to use that one. Um, would you prefer me to go for that one instead? So get into the comment section and talk about it. Why do you want me to use whichever combine you're telling me to use? Um, which one do you think is best? Which one do you think suits the series best? Uh, I want to know all of your thoughts and feelings on the subject in the comment section down below. We are just about ready. The grain is ready. We'll wait until the morning before we start doing our harvest. Um, and then we can get that underway. We will be able to get the straw from there. We'll be keeping all of the straw. We're not selling any of it. That's all going to be kept and used. And before we go to sleep, we've gone back to five times speed at the moment. Before we go to sleep, we're going to put straw in for the pigs. I'm now just going to put in the second um, load of corn that I've got right here. And... Pigs, sheep, everything, chickens and all of that, we'll only clean them in the mornings. We'll clean them every morning along with selling milk and doing the other bits that we do. Um, but we won't clean them the rest of the time. Um, right, so sheep, they're fine for a day or two. Pigs are now completely full. I've got 98 pigs at the moment. They're completely full. We need to put in a load more straw. But they're completely full of corn at 88,000. And soybeans, canola and that is almost full. And then the wheat and the barley, that will be after the harvest. We're getting one pig every hour and 45 minutes. Now, obviously, that's going to increase as time goes on. Um, how much it's going to increase, I'm not quite sure. I don't know what the rate gets down to. Like, when we get 200 pigs, I'm not sure what the overall rate of new pigs is. Don't know how many you get per day. It'd be interesting to find out. I don't think that we're... For, the main issue that we're going to have is being able to have the pigs at full capacity. That's going to be our main issue. Right? The, it, actually getting the pigs to full capacity is... Uh, actually getting the pigs to maximum numbers, that's not going to be the problem. Our problem is going to be getting the, um, the troughs completely filled up. That's where our difficulty is going to lie. Um, the rest of it is not going to be any kind of an issue at all, really. Right, the manure the manure price is going up, so from 39 we are going to get a better price. That was 61, but it's now dropping. So there's there is potentially some money to be made there, which I like. I do like the fact that we got some money to be made there. Eggs, we could sell those in the morning. That's going to get us a bit more money. At the moment, we've got 50,000 litres of corn. Keep us going. Uh, we have no other grains. I've used them all up. I'll bring you out round this way and load in another load of total mixed ration into this trailer ready to put up for the cows. So let's put you to there. Start. Uh, that one can... What do we like for What are the cows looking like? They're, they're not too bad. They're fine at the moment. I want to go over to that tractor right there i've got three bales in here at the moment i'm going to tip what i can in for the pigs now and then that will be it and then i'll use up another three of them in the morning to put more in there for the pigs as well 
at present, pigs are giving us 8,000 and 6,000 from Manure and Slurry, which is not very much. The cows, on the other hand, we have got absolutely loads of it. We have got loads and loads of both. So we could sell that. The tanker that I am using, like that. We can do that as, you know, someone coming along and buying. So if the tanker that I'm using with the... You know, I don't want to be looking in here. I want to be looking in here. Um, the tanker that I'm using for doing our milk, which we don't technically own ourselves. That one right there. This one's not able to transport slurry. So we can't use it to measure out slurry and measure out milk. I suppose really that is kind of a good thing but uh, yeah it's only for measuring it out it's not like we use it for anything else um and it's not like it's actually the one that is being used which yeah it, it makes sense to me so we'd have to get that one i think in order to be able to bring it over and sell it so i'd again it would be the merchant that would be doing that bit i would say Rather than us doing that bit. But I mean you can comment this in the comment section. If I was to start selling slurry. Should I get this one? Would we have to purchase this ourselves? Or would it just be owned by the merchant who comes to purchase our slurry from us? Because that's how we've done everything so far. Is it owned by the merchant who comes along and purchases from us? So that's why we wouldn't worry. So I'll add the money in. We'll get that one and it'll work exactly the same way as the milk tanker does. Um, so that's another thing that you can have a little chat about. Tell me what you think. Um, how are we doing with our straw? This bale here should just about do it, I think, for the pigs. Fill that one up in there. It's taking a lot longer. I wonder how many bales we're going to need to fill these pigs up completely once we've actually got a full pen of pigs. Because I'm looking in here, we've got over 25,000 litres of straw in here. And we're about a, th well, we're about a third. So if we're calling this a third, we got eight, uh, 88, well, that'd be, say that's 90,000. It's going to be 270,000 litres of corn that we're going to need in total. 270,000 litres of straw. All right, you're going to stay there. I'm not going to do anything different with you. And we are going to run over to our house and we're going to get some sleep. And then we can get going with the combining in the morning. We've got just enough time to kickstart these combines. Or this combine. So we're going to run over to here and do that. Actually, I don't know if we will have time because we've got to sell the milk and stuff first in the morning. That's our first task that we do every morning. And then we've also got to clean up the animals. So we'll put that down like that. We go here. We go for our 11 hours of sleep like that. 7 a.m. Through you go. Where's our loan interest, property maintenance... We've got $8,800 on the clock, and it's 7 a.m. What are we getting for our milk this morning? It was going down, 891. Not as good as it was last night. Manure has gone up to 56. Slurry is still dropping, so we're not going to get a good price for that. That's down. Eggs are 2780. So I think, actually, we could sell our eggs this morning. We go and grab all the eggs that we've got, and we'll sell those as well. So first up, we want you. You're going to run back to the yard and you're going to load up the milk that we've got today and take that away and sell it. And then as soon as you've done that, it's, it is a shame that this one, this tanker doesn't take the slurry because we could do exactly the same. We could just use this one to ferry the stuff across. Um, also, the manure, I'd need a trailer. That Adorante trailer that we had just disappeared when I updated it. I don't know why it disappeared when I updated it, but it vanished. Um, and that's bugged me slightly, so I'll have to sort of add that back in and we'll have to do that again. Um, not that we need it for the crops anymore, because we're not selling any crops. But if we're doing the manure, then we do exactly the same sort of principle. We sell it in 45,000 litre... Um, Lots, I would think. Uh, let's load that up. We've got 26,000 litres of milk this morning. Not too shabby. Right in here. So, I mean, yeah, if I was doing that in 45,000 litre loads, there's several loads worth at the moment in there, but I don't know how much we would get each day. Whether there would be enough to 
do a load each day. And the same with the slurries. What we would do, I would guess maybe we would just take a load each morning. With the milk, we would also sell a load of slurry and a load of manure. We'd just, just empty out whatever we got there at the time. That, I guess, I guess that would sort of make a bit more sense, really. Rather than it being a, a, a special thing, it would be a regular trip to just come and get whatever and at whatever price is currently available on the market. We could kickstart it by insisting on a decent price to start off with, but then it would be a morning thing. Every morning we sell all manure that we've got from pigs and cattle and uh, all slurry and all the milk as well from the cows. That's a possibility. You know, I, I'm, I'm sort of throwing ideas around here. I don't know what you think of that. that. That might be an idea you think would be a good one. It might be an idea you think is absolutely appalling and can't believe I'd even suggest such a thing. Um, I'm open to suggestions at this point. Uh, I'm, I really am. So there's $23,000 for milk. Uh, we've got animals here. So I had that one there. That's the one that we're using at the moment. Um, that's 32,000. That only takes milk and water. Uh, that one's only water there. So what else have we got? I've got the miscellaneous over this side. I don't have a tanker in there that will take anything. We got the standard belt systems in here. That we could go and use. So that one coupled up with that one there probably. Uh, that one's just a ground extension. That's the one that lifts up and loads into the trailers. So it would be those two together for loading up the manure I would have thought. Um, but it's the slurry. I haven't really got anything in the way of slurry tankers. Not, not a great deal of stuff. I'm sure I'm sure there are some mods around. Alright, let's let's not worry about that then. Um I'll go and park this one back up up this side and then we can get the eggs loaded up and sold because those are looking pretty good. I forget what they were now. It's two thousand something. Two thousand six hundred and something, is it? It's a reasonable price anyway, and we've got quite a few eggs now. So if we can get those sold, there's more money into the kitty. We could either buy more Actually, I'm going to save my money at the moment. I'm not going to. I'm not going to buy anything. I'm going to save the cash. So I got you over here with mixed ration. I can't go and do that just yet. I need to go and deal with. It. So that's got to stay there. We're still on one time speed because I'm waiting for the eggs. I'm, I'm doing the eggs. Uh, I don't want to be looking at that. I just wanted to check the pigs. Now we've got 106 pigs at the moment. Still an hour and 45 on the reproduction rate. Which is making me actually want to just go and buy a load more pigs and boost that up so the reproduction rate goes, it, it jumps up a little bit faster than what it is at the moment. Um, and speeds that along a little bit more, but is it worth doing it? I mean, I've got corn that I can put in, and we got barley that we're about to go and harvest, which would help, but it's not sort of, it's not the be all and end all of everything there, is it? Um... I don't know. Right, anyway, 2,780 for the eggs. Let's go and get those. So I'll bring the trailer around this way, like this, and we will load up those pallets. That's two full pallets and some part ones as well. So I'm, I'm guessing here we've got roughly three pallets worth. There's about three pallets worth there by the look of it, so I want to unload onto the trailer and do that. I should be able to just go in around this way. Yes, I can. Fantastic. I need to put diesel in this tractor. I will do that in a minute after I've unloaded this trailer load. Bring those up onto there. Look at that money coming in. Oh, yes. 79,000. I've now got 111,000 in the kitty. So... I'm going to get a load of money from silage bales. And then we get more money coming in soon. So I'm not going to buy any more pigs at the moment. I'm not going to buy any more of anything at the moment. I'm going to wait till next week. Because I want to hear all of your thoughts and comments on what we're going to do with... Let me do that and that. 
I want to hear all of your thoughts and comments on what we're going to do with our combines and what we do regarding uh, slurry. Although it's the combines that are the important bit regarding the money. Because if you want me to be buying a brand new combine, um, the Russell Mash one, I've got to save my money. Uh, if you want me to get a different combine, if you want me to get the John Deere one, then saving a large amount of money is not quite so important. That it, you know, it can wait just a little bit. But anyway, I have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.